Good morning. It is Wednesday and I'm heading into the office super early. I basically woke up early and was like, do I try and go back to sleep or do I just get up? do my hair and makeup, chuck some clothes on and go and that is what I decided to do. So I'm gonna get to the office earlier than everyone else but I quite like driving in at this time because there's not as much traffic. Um, I've got Nala with me um, and Alfie's coming into the office a little bit later. It's 10 to eight so I'm gonna head in now and I'll see you at the office. Right, I'm here. Turns out the time I left wasn't early enough. <laughs> I got stuck in all the traffic. It's taken me, ooh. 40 minutes to get here and it is not a 40 minute journey so not the best start to the day eh Nala? She's got a little jump on today because it's actually the coldest today of autumn so far for sure. Today is like you have to wear a coat day not just I want to wear a coat and I'm not sure if it's gonna be cold or not like it's cold. I've got jumper and coat and boots so it's one of those days it's one of those days bubba should we go in then should we go in oh i love this i love you you're so freaking cute okay no just wait it's so sunny i feel like i might have made a rookie error of dressing for the outdoors but not for up very high in a very well lit sunny building <laughs> so the coat's gonna come off that's for sure um i made myself a little banana loaf yesterday morning so i've brought in a slice of that for my breakfast <laughs> not the healthiest but it's better than me running out the door and not having anything so i'm gonna sit do some editing and eat my banana bread i think it's lunchtime and I haven't really done much filming, but I just thought I'd share with you what I got for lunch. So I've gone for a, oh, what are they called? The Halloumi Bagel Man Bagel. In it, it has avocado, halloumi, spinach, hummus, and a like chipotle sauce, I think. And then I also got a little side of hash brown and more of the sauce which I'm gonna share, because I'm not gonna eat five hash browns. But yeah, that's my little lunch update. And I'm home. I didn't really film much today, I knew Oh, going into the whoa, going into the office is always going to be either I have loads to film and I've got my camera on my desk and I just remember, or a day like today where I just got sucked into lots of different bits that I was trying to finish off and do, and I didn't really pick up my camera much. But I'm gonna bring you into the office tomorrow as well. Got home. I am running a bath. Look at those boobies. <laughs> I'm currently running a bath, just had dinner. I need to get the remnants of this lip colour off. I didn't say what lip colour it was, but it was a Stila one. Just gonna have a chilled night, running a bath. I'm gonna read the last little bit of my book. So I finished reading Holly Bourne's How Do You Like Me Now? And if you are also part of the Zoella Book Club, then we will be discussing what we thought of it, me and the team, next week over on the Zoella Instagram. So if you've done a little mini review, make sure to tag us because we love reading them. And then I thought before we start on the October book, I would read this. I don't know how it's taken me so long to read this. This is Notes on a Nervous Planet by Matt Haig. And actually, I read both these books on my Kindle, but I had this because um, he sent it to me, or the publisher sent it to me, ages ago, and I found it in my uh, bookshelf. I knew I had it. I ordered it on the Kindle, and then I was like, I'm sure I've got it. Um, so yeah, I'm almost done with it. Oh my god, if you have not read Notes on a Nervous Planet by Matt Haig, you need to read it. 
it's about mental health, depression, anxiety, and it's just one of those books that, I mean, I can see how so many people have felt so saved by this book. It's incredible. So I'm almost done with that. I think I've got like 20 minutes left to read that. And then I'm gonna be starting on October's book, which is the Margaret Atwood, um, the new, oh shit, what's it called? The New Handmaid's Tale, um, the follow on, the 15 years later. It, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's gonna really annoy me and I'm gonna turn the camera off and then I'm gonna remember what it is. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna catch up on Bake Off because I didn't see it uh, yesterday when it was on, which is not like me at all. And then I'm super excited to catch up on The Circle which I didn't actually watch any of last year and so many people said oh it's really good I can't wait for the next one so I was like right I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna start on episode one and see how I get on with it I'm obsessed if any of you are watching the circle how like freaking amazing is Tim I think I had something in my teeth that whole time so I apologize <laughs> just a little bit of dinner that I thought I'd share with you Tim is just the best oh I'm like so into it so if any of you aren't watching the circle um, it's on channel four, I think. Oh my God. Um, I'm gonna light some candles. The thing that I've used in my bath, my bath item of choice this evening, is this. It's the Neil's Yard Remedies Soothing Bath Oil. Deep, deeply relaxing for body and mind. I'm all about that. So, probably gonna sign out here and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Review. Ten to seven. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, just woke up to this amazing sunrise. It looks so cool. Look how beaut. Got the birds chirping. It just looks amazing. Um, and I'm gonna go take Nala out and jump in the shower. Look at the state of me. <laughs> I'm just about to jump in the shower. But first I thought I would share with you what I'm going to be using in my shower. So it's going to be absolutely no surprise to you that these two are coming into the shower with me. I'm working with Function of Beauty again, which makes me so happy because they're a brand that I genuinely love, use, recommend to all my friends. I love it. I'm too scared now to use anything else on my hair in case my hair's like, whoa, I just got really used to that. I've been using it for around six months. Um, I've just recently changed to the purple shampoo and conditioner because I've got a lot more blonde in my hair now. Um, so I wanted to tick the hair goal that was reduced brassiness. Healthy hair, as you guys know, is really important. Um, it's good to give your hair exactly what it needs to know your hair type in the same way that you do with your skin and everything else. Function of Beauty is a hair care brand that allow you to customise and create shampoo and conditioner that is particularly tailored to your hair. So you literally go on their website, you do an online quiz which takes literally two minutes and it has everything from um, the type of hair you have, the type of scalp you have, um, you fill out everything that your hair is and then you select five hair goals. So all the things that you really want your hair to be. So I think a couple of the ones I selected was anti-frizz, thermal protection, um, and hydration, obviously. You could also choose the colour and the fragrance, and you can choose the strength of the fragrance, which is amazing. I actually, this time, went for Feeling Fine Apple, which is a pineapple and coconut scent, and oh my god, it smells like a pina colada. And every time I use it, I'm like, I feel like I'm on holiday, I love it. The scent that I had before was the peach and apricot, which, or the apricot, or the peach one which again was great, highly recommend. They've kindly given me a 20% off your first order um, link, which I will leave in the description box. So make sure you go down there if you fancy it or you wanna try it, go down to my description box, click that. Code is available to use in the US, the UK, Europe, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and I think a couple more places, but just check. Um, online. Also worth noting that Function of Beauty products contain no parabens, no toxins, no sulfates, no GMOs and they are completely vegan and cruelty free as well. That is my morning. I am going to jump in the shower, take these back with me, 
wash my hair and then gonna dry it, style it. It is still quite early, so I feel like maybe I'm gonna have enough time before I need to head into the office. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to the shower because, oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, I think I might show you my uh, shower gel of choice as well. Whilst I'm at it, my shower gel of choice. Yognog by Lush. This was kindly given to me when me and Maddie went down to Paul for a meeting with them. And the amazing Dave, Dave if you're watching, love ya. He showed us all of the new Christmas collection, which I think is one of my favorite days of the year because I just, I get so excited and I love looking at everything. Oh, he also gave me this, pumpkin spice lip scrub delish oh my god it smells like um kind of like a very well baked gingerbread it just smells so good right out of shower and now it is time to dry my hair now that it is blow dried I am going to curl it so for the front bits I use my tongs and then for the rest I just use my straighteners Okay, now on to makeup. I'm back upstairs, I'm doing my makeup up here again. You'll be pleased to know. Um, I did say in one of my other vlogs that I need to go back up there because, let me just make this, get my whole head in. Um, yeah, I need to go back up there because it's much nicer to do my makeup up there and then I'm not creating a mess downstairs. So, what shall we do today? I think I'm gonna do me old, trusty old Nars. I put this on the other day and I was like, oh, how I've missed you. I feel like the CC cream, the It Cosmetics cream, um, now that it's colder, doesn't seem to sit on my um, skin as nicely. I need a lot more powder. Okay, then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser and my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Okay, so I use a little bit of my Hourglass Powder and now I'm gonna use my Bronze Goddess Bronzer and this brush and get a bit of bronzer on this face. Just put on a little bit of my NARS blush from this palette. I used this one and this one. And now I'm gonna do my brows with my angled brush and my trusty Anastasia Dip Pomade. For my eyes, I am going to use this Victoria Beckham Beauty palette in Tweed. I put this on my story the other day. Oof, it's beaut. Look at that. So many pretty autumnal colors. Um, I don't know what colors I'm gonna go for. I did just the browns yesterday, so maybe I'll dip into the purpley shade, or maybe the rust actually. I'll go for the rusty shade. And I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara, and then we'll look for a lip. Also just realised I'm doing that thing where I'm doing my makeup but like I don't need to be anywhere and I actually do need to be somewhere I just because I'm filming I just sort of forgot and I've not been very quick <laughs> so I need to hurry up. Done. On my lips I have the M Cosmetics Lip Liquid Lip in the shade French Nude. 
I've had this for a disgustingly long amount of time and I need to buy another one. But, hey ho. <laughs> I really like the eyeshadow actually. Uh, one thing I might do is change what I'm wearing because I put a dress on with this jumper on top, but it's actually flipping cold out. So I think I might need some trousers and a jumper instead. I haven't actually said here on the old camera, but I really want to try and film lots more this month. October is always, well, October is always my favorite month, as you guys know. Um, well, October and December. And um, it tends to be the month where I have like the most going on. So last year um, I released my book. So I was doing a lot of stuff for that and like the deadlines and the, uh, the like events that we did. Um, so now I don't have anything like that this year. I feel like I can really live in the element of October. It's the month that I like to look back on a lot um, as the season's changing and I don't know, it's just, it's such a nice time of year. Um, but yeah, right, heading into the office. I was just on my laptop <laughs> and Alfie just said, what's the weirdest scrambled egg you think anyone's ever made? And I was like, what? <laughs> Morning chats. Ollie's told me to, that I should film this. Oh. 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 oh, how exciting! I was gonna say, oh, should I show this? I think I can show this, can't I? It goes on sale today, yeah. Hey you, it's been a long time coming, but my merch is finally here. As you know, friendships and love are two very important things to me, so I'm super happy I could bring my dream to life. I hope you don't feel as much as I love, I love our love and friendship, Mark. Oh. It's Mark's merch! Mark's merch? Yeah! Oh, look! See, I've already seen these designs. I love that one. Oh, That's I really love cool. it! Oh, some love hearts. Cute. Oh, I love so that. Yeah. Oh. Heart on your sleeve. Little oh, heart. Look, thanks, Mark. You're moving too quick, I can't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love me a white jumper. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. That was really great. <laughs> Let me just catch it. <laughs> oh, you're actually going to catch it. It's, I don't know what it's called. Could you open the window in preparation? It's massive. It was really like, ambitious that you would just get a catch a fly. <laughs> fake hair. <laughs> Hello, look at this. Oh, I can't get it out. Can't really see it, can you? Just going through some of the lovely new bits in the PO box. So I thought I would share some stuff with you because I know you like to see little bits and pieces. First up, we have Florence by Mills, which is Millie Bobby Brown's new makeup range. Makeup so what have we got? Care, oh, yeah. makeup and skincare. I like the packaging a lot. Cute, what's this? Lavender. Oh, peel off mask. Oh, I love a peel off mask. Me too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then this one is a swimming under the eyes gel pads. Oh, I like the sound of that. Lip oil. They are all cruelty free and vegan. Thank you very much. I'm gonna give these a try. Oh, I like that. Are they? Oh, they're all blush. Are they cream blushes? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Next up, we have these. These are by Paper Gang. Can we just talk about how cute these illustrations are? <gasps> oh, look at these. Uh, we need some of these. Oh, cute. So you've got a card. Is that kind of like a what's included in your box? Yes. <gasps> a to-do list pad. Love that. That's great. I want a little notebook. That's a really nice box, actually. Isn't it? Yeah. I love the illustrations so much. For anyone who wants to know how Paper Gang works, um, we think of fun ideas for this coming month's box. We work with illustrators over the globe or our in-house team to design products. Our, our illustrative creations are brought to life in stationary you form and you can subscribe to them where every month uh, you just get 
an adorable box of stationery and just really lovely bits and pieces. So if you're a stationery lover, or if you know somebody who loves stationery, this is a really great gift. Hello. <laughs> just open this. This is by the illustrator Jodie Womford. Um, Jodie Womford illustration. And she put, here's a small gift to keep a little piece of summer in your home. Hope you like it. P.S. You're giving me severe pumpkin envy at the moment. Have a great Halloween. Aww. How cute is that? It's lots of different plants and house plants, but in the alphabet. When you look at things like this, do, do you look at your letter and you're like, I better be good? Yeah, mine's a good one. Yeah, I like my one. Ours is really similar. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. I love that. Thank you, Jodie. You are very talented. Got some new brushes by Real Technique. Sam and Nick. Brush Crush Reignite. These are exclusive to Boots. Look how pretty these, these, these are. <laughs> Can't speak. It's like holographic. What was that? Oh, the people upstairs at the recruitment agency and every time they get something good news, they like bang and celebrate. <laughs> Sorry, how have I never realized that? Could tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you which one I think I'm, this one. These little fluffy ones are great for blush. Thank you, Sam and Nick. Love those. Had a little delivery from Pat McGrath Labs. <gasps> wow, that's so cool. Ah. Zoe, enjoy kisses, Pat. <gasps> wow. Wowie. Ooh. This is very luxe. Thank you, Pat. Oh, Holly's going in for a second layer that doesn't exist. <laughs> it's not a box of chocolates, Holly. <laughs> this all looks so nice. So what do we have? This we have well. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation, which looks beautiful. Some amazing brushes. It's delightful, isn't it? Oh, a powder. Another brush, which is super soft. Um, and then, what's this? The Sublime Perfection Primer. And, oh, two more foundations. I guess they'll be different shades. <gasps> Thank you so much. I'm so excited to give this a try. So this bar of Cadbury's that has nothing written on it, Holly has just informed me that Cadbury's are donating their words for Age UK because... Lots of old people go weeks at a time without talking to anyone. Oh, so there's nothing on there. That's so cute. Isn't it? Yeah, and such a lovely idea. I think that's an amazing campaign. Yeah, campaign. campaign. So thanks, Cadbury's. We'll share this amongst the office. It's time for the Great British. Very quiet. Everyone's really enjoying their brownies. <laughs> the A to Z Bake Off. And this week we have Maddie's. Slutty brownies, <laughs> which have, I'm gonna go for, which one should I go for, this one? What do they have in them, Maddie? So it's like a cookie base with yeah. double stuffed Oreos and brownie. I didn't make up this recipe, it's actually like a- That sounds delish. It's a well-known thing, I think. And does Lauren have one? A vegan one? Oh yeah, I made vegan ones as well, but- Oh. They're a bit more cakey than these ones. Is this wow. the only one left? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie might have to try one. Yeah, no, you can take it. Do you need yeah. this one back? No, no, you can have that one. But I think Alfie might want this one, which means me. Thank you, Alice. That was awesome. Delish. Good, good bakes this week. Mm. Oh, oh, well, I feel quite glad that, that oh, yeah. that's over. <laughs> yes. It's a lot of I've done and done. Yeah, it's all bake off because God. Okay. Danielle, I have a few questions. <laughs> You funny girl. Tomorrow I have a day here um, and the girls from the office are coming and we're gonna just take a little bit of like homey autumn content. And part of that is an epic pumpkin spice cake. I saw one on Pinterest and I was like, oh my God, it looks incredible. I'm gonna try and replicate it using the recipe that I actually have on one of my really old blog posts that is the pumpkin spice cupcakes. So instead of cupcakes, I'm doubling the recipe and I'm gonna see if it will make me three big cakes. And I'm pretty sure you'd like to bake along with me, so I thought I'd film it. Already preheated the oven to 180, which I actually don't know is right. Oh, it says 190 on here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what it says. Although with most cakes, I feel like 180 is kind of foolproof. Flour, spices, salt and baking powders into a bowl. Easy. 
So, plain flour. Move these out of the way. So, you'll need 280 times 2, 560. Did that wrong? 200, 280 times 2? Yeah. It's not wrong. <laughs> Don't make me question my maths, I'm already crap at it. Then we need two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. We also need one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Um, one teaspoon of ground ginger. Um, and half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Oh, don't have that. I don't have ground cloves, so I'm gonna put uh, a teaspoon of mixed spices, which is probably just the spices I've thrown in, but. Wait, let me check it's not like curry powder. I don't think it is. We'll just put a bit of that in. <laughs> Why doesn't it say what's in there? Oh, okay. This has cloves in, fine. Salt, so half a teaspoon, so we need to do a teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Feels like a lot, but I'm gonna trust the recipe. Um, one teaspoon of bicarbonate. Pour you in here. Hmm, there's another hair in there already. How much butter? 110 grams, so 220. 400 grams of caster sugar, which is almost that entire bag. 10 tablespoons of brown soft sugar. puree oh my god i've had it on millimeter the whole time milliliters well, instead of grams only with the butter and the flour and the sugar millimeters. i didn't i didn't check i mean i may as well go for it now I may as well at least see what happens I've been putting in like 400 millilitres. Can you check what 400 millilitres to grams is? So I'm just doing... Have I overdone it by a lot? No, 100 millilitres of milk is 103 grams. Oh, okay. So it's, it's really not by much. Yeah, it's fine. For sake. Always check your electric scales. 180 millilitres of milk would be what times two? 360. Wow. That is a lot of milk. This is a lot of slop in this recipe. Pumpkin puree. How much of that do we need? 250 grams of pumpkin cooked and pureed. Well, this has been cooked and pureed. Put this back to grams now, shall we? So 500 grams. How much do you get in a can? Oh, 425. That's annoying. Disgusting. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix this. So you've got to be careful not to over mix this. So you're literally just folding in the flour, really. Okay, cakes are in their tins. I have no idea how long these should go in for because I'm used to it being cupcakes, but I'm going to say 20 to 25, maybe to 30 minutes. I'm now getting the cakes out of the oven. They were in there for about 27 minutes. I'm not going to lie, I think I might have overcooked them, so stick to 25. 
They smell so good. Um, and now I'm just gonna leave them to cool and then I'll probably wrap them up and pop them in the fridge because I'm gonna decorate it and um, put it all together tomorrow. So I'll vlog that too because I feel like it would be really unfair to leave you on a cliffhanger. <laughs> I'd wanna see. So I'll film that for you tomorrow. I'm gonna catch up on the circle now because I didn't see last night's because I fell asleep at like 8 p.m. like the granny I am. And I'm gonna watch last night's and then watch tonight's and get my full dose of the circle. So I tell you guys all the time how needy Nala is. I've been sat here on my laptop. Look where she's gone. She's so cute. This is all the time. Like I can't even describe. In the office today, like she's being way more needy than normal. In the office today, she would be on the floor and she would just bark. Like, you know that funny, cute little quack? No. Like, ah. Yeah. To try and get my attention because she wants to get on my lap. So I was ignoring Look her, at like, her. No. Hey. And then she started hey. scratching at my leg, like frantically, like, no, pay attention to me and put me on your lap. That's naughty. Look at her. How is that like? She's just so chill like that. I little love head her massage. So much. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why is she so cute? Oh, <laughs> Phil's come to cut Alfie's hair, so she's very uh, no. distressed <laughs> or excited. I've come up to my office. Tomorrow is, I'm trying to be really quiet. <laughs> He's getting his hair cut. Tomorrow is our seven year anniversary and I didn't know what the heck to buy him because it's just been his birthday and it's Christmas in two months and Alfie's f***ing hard to buy for. <laughs> so instead I thought we'd do something sentimental and thoughtful. I ordered these from m and I'm going to save one for us to fill together. But I thought it would be nice to print off some pictures and stick them in. I got some photos printed out in black and white. And I'm going to cut them out. Actually, do I need to cut them out? I don't think I do. I'm going to stick them in. This is like my favourite picture ever. I'm up here! In the office! Oh, no! on it. Eh? Only one for a half drunk Coca-Cola. Guys, today's one of those days where I've got too much to do and actually when you start adding it up, uh, when you start adding it up, you realize that you actually don't have enough time in the day to get done what you actually would like to get done in that day. And that's quite a, a panicked feeling. <laughs> I don't like days like this. It's early. I'm heading out now to get my brows done. Not too sure how much I'm gonna vlog today because there's a lot going on and if I remember to get my camera out, I just think that would be a bloody miracle. It is our anniversary morning this morning um, and the reason he's in London is because he was on Good Morning Britain this morning and I'll be seeing him a bit later so we can have some celebration later on. 
First thing to do this morning is get my brows done. Literally all I've done is wash my face and brushed my hair. <laughs> Chuck some clothes on. Wow. Oh, did I lose my glasses or have you got them? Oh, I've got them. <sighs> I was like, wait, I look Something's really missing. gross. Something's missing. Had her brows done. Thank God. Great start to the Friday. <laughs> right, I need to get home now because I've got so much to do. Okay, we are now at a point where it's time for me to decorate this cake. Well, I'm gonna put the icing in first. Invested in some extra large bags from Lakeland. Look at that. Oh, oh that is a lovely oh, it's shot. perfectly ratioed. <laughs> Isn't it? it? Is. Should we try it? Oh yeah. yeah. There's receptors oh, here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Do you make them get like a dip on the fork and hold it up mm -hmm. and it's a dip? <laughs> mm. That's so nice. That's nice. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 